All right, so welcome to the um, beer and fries interview. The beer and fries interview. At Belgian DevOps. beer. Well, actually, this isn't Belgian beer, unfortunately. <laughs> but this is I Dutch, these are Dutch beer. Fries. Das beer. Carlsberg. Carlsberg. Danish. Oh. Sorry. We were trying to make a good joke, but... Gosh, we didn't Regina, get our, country didn't really get our right. countries right. Oh, God. Okay, oh, North apologies are weak. for blaming you for the beer. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're completely North American in this regard. Eh? Exactly. So, so it's been a while since we talked last, right? It's been like since... Uh, since Greece. Yeah, where I was like the official off-screen heckler. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Lots of interviews destroyed, yeah. ravaged by your heckling. Mm. People's, people's um, family probably cursing that guy off screen who was making fun of their loved ones on camera. <laughs> but, I um, didn't make fun of anybody. It, it, all, it all worked out. It all it worked all, out for the best. Yeah, it I was think good. so, yeah. Those are some good interviews. So where have you been since then? Um, well, I did this Java one, this little, little conference in San Francisco. Not many mm. people have heard about it. I think it was great this year. The energy at Java One this year was absolutely awesome. It was very upbeat and yeah. No, I mean, I, a lot of people there. commented that they thought it was the best Java One since um, Oracle since took Oracle over the took brand. Over, yeah, there was finally. It yeah. seemed like a lot of energy and uh, and uh, I certainly had a good time. Um, uh, you know, looking at a you know, looking at a bunch of numbers of sessions and yeah, you yeah, know, it, was, it was it was good. And so I think I think Adam had a good take on this. I was chatting with him in um, Malmo, mm -hmm. Sweden last week. Adam Bien. Ordev. Yeah, Ordev. Um, and his take was that the reason Java One is still like the conference to go to for Java hackers is because you get to meet the folks who actually build the technology. Like you, you meet the spec <laughs> leads and the folks doing the implementation. And they may not be the best speakers, but when you ask them a question, there's they give you the right answer. They There's know no everything. ambiguity There's no... about it. It's just like, <laughs> boom, there it is in black and white. It's just all factual. Yeah, I, I, I think as, um, you know, I have the privilege of being on the content committee and in the core track. And uh, that's where most of the Oracle talks show up. Yeah. Because it's a lot of the core guys saying like, hey, this is our chance to really interact with people. And, and it's, it's really great because... You know, it's it's one of the tracks where you, where you always find that the Oracle employees, and you know, maybe people might be surprised about this, but they're very conscious about excuse me how many sessions they get, and um, <clears throat> and they, and they and they don't want to overwhelm. They, they don't want to really make Java One like an all Oracle conference, right? And in the core track, because it's mostly or you know quite a few Oracle engineers that are involved in, in developing the core technology, we find that we just have this problem where I'm, I'm having to argue, saying like, no, we want John <laughs> to give that talk because that's our chance to talk to John. If he's John's not there, then you know, um, uh, then you know that's that's really something missing, and and uh, and and. You know, we can say let let, let the Oracle guy, Oracle guys suffer in the other tracks in terms of reduced numbers of talks or whatever like that. But in in core, you're right. It really is a good chance to get out, talk to the people who are involved in the in building the technology. Let them. You know, I, I, you know we were talking to some of the Oracle guys here at, at, at DevOps, and we we're saying like, okay, you know, there's there's a gap. There's these guys building this really cool engineering, doing this really cool engineering stuff, and you know, they're sort of guessing at what we need or what we think we need out in the field in, in many cases. Where, yeah, you no, know, and that's a chance to actually get in their face. and We get in their face and we can say, and they really appreciate the feedback and stuff, you know. Um, they know I send a lot of emails in on the mailing list and um, about this thing or that thing. I found a weird G1 bug. And I, you know, just popped it in. I said, look, guys, this is what I saw and everything like that. And, you know, eventually they'll look at it and go, oh, God, he sounds something else. And, <laughs> but, <clears throat> but then again, I think, you know, you know it's participation. No, but makes at the end of the day, better, having, yeah. having community members, you know, like, like yourself. Oh, and, who, yeah, LCJ, all, kinds of, all yeah, kinds of people. Yeah, who are actively using the technology, talking with the folks who are doing the implementation, raising yeah. bugs, performance issues, security issues, mm -hmm. um, 
That's and what's next? Yeah. So so what's next? Well, you know, uh, I guess we're you know we're the big thing about what next here has been about value types. Yeah. Okay. So that was Brian's crystal ball. That was Brian's crystal ball trying to figure out. Okay. So no promises and and you know, on some of the stuff, I hope he's right, and on some of the stuff, sorry Brian, I hope you're wrong. <laughs> 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 That's you know, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, um, I think that you know the you know what's the what's the next thing? What's the next train wreck coming down the pipe at us? Right, in terms of performance, and. I think it really is memory layouts. Hmm. It's really difficult to keep the CPUs, uh, you know, burning at, at the rates that we should be able to get them to burn at. So, um, really, you know, what we're seeing in the industry is that you know uh, the, the CPU guys are getting really good at at every generation of chip. The instruction retirement rates on the CPU just keep going up and up and up and up and up. Right. So Moore's law seems to be doing quite nicely there. And uh, Java, with its you know pointer chasing issues, which wasn't a problem in the past, is you know with the changes in hardware, it's, it's suddenly like this is now a problem, and it and it's the next big problem to solve. And and there's a couple of proposals out there, and I don't think any of them are right yet. Yeah. But we're not going to so see you, anything you before Java 10. Is, you think this is more important than value types for the future of the Java platform? Uh, value types are going to do some, but value types are not really going to solve, I think, the total underlying uh, picture. And I know that you know, the guys at Azul and Martin Thompson and other people are having discussions about how the, what they would like to see. Um, and you know, so, the, so I think there's, I think the way that it's being managed right now is interesting because you have different groups that are putting forward different proposals, but unlike um, you know with lambdas and and that where we had uh, significant uh, almost, almost fractious discussions happening that, that uh, yeah in this case that the the conversations have been managed in a much better way so that we're actually. I think going to see a really good solution come out of this um, at the end of the day. So I, I expect by Java 10 to see something that's really, really going to be helpful. I mean, one of the arguments has been this is really stuff that's really good for low latency, but no one else is going to care. And I, I, you know, today I agree with that argument. I'm sure tomorrow I won't, because you know w what we're seeing is that you know, especially with lambdas, right? You know, what are lambdas designed to do? Um, a homogeneous query across a large collection of business objects, right? And that's something that should happen very, very quickly as long as you can get the prefetchers fired up and you can get the, you know, keep the pipelines from stalling and things like that, right? These things should happen just wonderfully, even for business applications that really don't have like low latency con concerns. So just getting lambdas to work right, I think will require, you know, the stuff to be put into the JVM. Um, in the future. Okay. Yeah. So you see it coming in? I, I see it coming. Everyone agrees that it needs to be there. We don't have an agreement of what form it's going to be. This is the first time I've seen the Oracle statement of we're not making any promises with red circles around <laughs> it saying like, you know, we're not making any promises. And I'm going like, okay, that's cool. We don't need to have promises. We just need to have discussions. So whatever gets yeah. in there, uh, I think is general purpose has very little impact on on a developer's day-to-day -day life in terms of they just get to use it without hopefully even knowing that it's happening. And, uh, you know, all that type of goodness, you know. Cool. <coughs> so, so, um, so it's good. You know, Java, so, Java 9 and Java 10 are still quite a, quite a ways off. Uh, Java 9 is not that far off, you know. Uh, as Brian said, you know, code freeze is coming up within the within the next few months, 12 <laughs> months, <clears throat> which means well, it's a feature freeze, I guess, and then, which means that they're just now looking after that. Of course, it's uh, it's hardening and, and debugging and yeah. and things like that. So, okay. in terms of but that also means you can't put anything really new in Java 9. That means that you can't put anything new in Java 9, and I think the memory layout stuff is. Um, you know, some type people have been pushing to get it into nine, but I think that um, um, you know, if, if it's not off the whiteboard and into strong implementation yeah. today, 
it's unlikely to be a nine, and the way we see it is that it's still really much, uh, although, you know, people are working on implementations and prototypes, it's still pretty much something that's sitting on whiteboards. Got so, it. but it, it's cool. It's all cool stuff. Cool? It's all cool stuff, yeah. So, so what are you doing here at DevOps? What are your sessions? And I did a very strange talk, <laughs> our boff talk. I can't, I can't imagine the, the person who um, made drunk coding. Was that your previous popular? No. Oh, oh, uh, drunk cheap, cheap, uh, uh, cheap uh, performance foods. tuning with poor tools and cheap drinks. Yeah. So yeah. I can't imagine anyone who popularized <laughs> that as a title being um, having a strange talk. <laughs> well, that was a pretty, those are actually pretty normal talks. Those were just like uh, large demos that where you, it's like a, a big game, right? A board game or something like that. You tell everybody what the rules are and then... You do a demo, and everybody follows the rules, and the audience controls the demo, which is you know kind of a, like a fun thing. And it was like really tuning with uh, the ruddiest, cruddiest, crappiest tools that you have available to you. The talk I did last night uh, is one that I think um, it actually got quite a bit of interest, considering how it all came about. But um, it was just on you know startup. How do you run a uh, startup? Cool. You know, which is I think so it's you have a little experience with that yourself personally. Yeah, I have a little bit. Of, I don't claim to be an expert, and uh, you know, it's always a learning thing. But I just took a whole bunch of notes and dropped them down into into a slide deck and said, you know, these are some concerns you should have when you're starting a company with partners, and some of the things you should look out for, and things that are happen, and and it and it really comes down to even some of the simple things that you know when you're involved with them. I don't know. It's it's like. The lawyer's coming with a contract and says, sign here, bang, 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 now we got a company. Here's the share, fantastic. Now we sign control over everyone. And you know, within 15 minutes, you've basically gone to one share with a company worth 100 pounds to, or 100 bucks or whatever, to um, a company still worth 100 bucks, but now you have 100 shares distributed amongst all your partners and everything like that. And it just goes like that, bang. And you're just like thinking like, what the hell just happened? What was that, right? And, you know, I'm sure the second or third or fifth or seventh or tenth time you do it, it's like, going, eh, okay, no problem. Here. It's all cool or whatever. But uh, that first um, time, it's really a, a bit of a shock, I capitalism think. Capitalism in action. Yeah, isn't it? Capitalism in action. And there's a whole bunch of different things that I think people don't realize. I mean, one of the slides that got everyone going like, huh? Except for the people who had actually started a startup and gone through some of this stuff. They're going like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going, everyone's going, huh? I said, you know, you, so you go through all of this gyrations to convince people to write you a big check and everything, which is like, you know, all well and fine. And the first thing you do, you know, what I said is like, the first thing you do uh, when you get the check is don't spend it, which is like the hardest thing for people to do, especially if they've been self-funding and, you know, starving for the last <coughs> year or two years or whatever. Yeah, so and I then, think... And I've been in, I've been in a couple of startups on the tail ends, right? And um, it's all about runway. It's all about like runway. How much money you have left and how long that will last you, given your current burn rate, and how and how much you can kick the can down the road. Exactly. To get more runway. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And um, yeah, when you spend the money, that's that's almost like um, like slitting your wrists. Like yes. it's it's bleeds. Yes. And your time is running out. <laughs> and, you, and you shorten your runway. But you, but you have to spend some money, but it's like, you know, yeah, to so get that's going. Yeah, a big and challenge. So, so it's always like going like, crap. And you, I mean, you really seriously look at every single cent and you say, you know, is this something that we really should be spending this money on right now? Right? So. Like, yeah. like fancy chairs. We have the finest chairs here that Belgium has to offer. Better than the uh, seat I sat in on the flight in, so <laughs> <laughs> I won't name the airline. Yeah, yeah well, okay. any number of airlines will qualify yeah, for that price. Exactly, yeah, exactly. In, in Hungarian, they actually call it uh, podfa, which or fapad, which is, means literally wooden bench. <laughs> <laughs> That's their nickname for the budget airlines. <clears throat> Very apropos. And some people, strangely enough, believe they actually got on the plane and there would be wooden benches. <laughs> on the plane. It's like <laughs> Anyways, probably better not tell the airlines that they might get ideas. Uh. <laughs> okay, so you had your session last night? 
That was my that was one session, and uh, I'm going to have another one in Ignite session. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah. So for folks who don't know what Ignite talks are, it's basically you get five minutes. Your slides auto advance every fifteen, 15 seconds. seconds. Twenty slides. Twenty slides, and by the end of the talk, you are wishing that you had fewer slides. <laughs> well, I don't have to wish that I have fewer slides. My talk only has twelve. There you go. You cheated. <laughs> no. It only has 12 slides, period. I'm doing a top 10 list. So I only need 10 slides, intro, exit, like we're done. So they yeah, look, no, actually, it confused um, everybody. <laughs> so I, I did the same thing on my Java 1 Ignite talk. I'm, actually, I'm going to be giving my Ignite talk tomorrow as well. So we might be in the same room together. Oh, we will be. I'll be looking forward to seeing it. They had some great talks today. Um, but I kind of cheated the same way you did. I have a, a big text intro to my top nine list. I only have nine items in my list. Mm -hmm. And then I have a big a picture or a movie or something on the second slide, which is kind of like the you know joke setup and then a singer. Uh. But it gives me 30 seconds to make each point, which is more comfortable for my speaking style. Yeah, you tend to have a very laid back, calming effect on your audience. You, you should have seen my um, quickie talk today. I missed that, sorry. Which, normally quickies are supposed to be 15 minutes, and thanks to my wonderful um, pre-speaker, the person on stage before me who will go nameless, I did a 10-minute <laughs> quickie. <laughs> you can talk that fast? I, I only talked, I, I set up a camera on stage, <laughs> recorded the audience, ripped out multiple chests of gear, yeah. showed live 3D printed stuff. Um, all in the span of 10 minutes. So it was um, awesome. That sounds like fun. It was faster than my usual pace. To, uh, we have a uh, Gurchan uh, over there now heckling us. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, cheers to our audience here at DevOps. To, uh, the DevOps audience. Hi, guys. How did you enjoy the session last night? Oh, oh we're getting some uh, accolades from the session yeah, last so night. Yeah, so Gurchan said he really enjoyed Kirk's session last yeah. night. So. I, I enjoyed it too. It actually turned out much better than I thought because, you know, I found out that I wasn't, you know, I, I used the Rumfeld thing, right? It was like, you know, the um, known unknowns, the things, things that you think you know, as it turns out, you didn't. Uh, right. Yes. So that was really what a lot of my talk was about, you know, the things that I thought I knew that it turns out that I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's, it was quite fun. Which is the most interesting <clears throat> part. Those are the things which you learn from. Yeah, exactly. It's or... Like <laughs> if, yeah, if you had to do over, what would you do differently? Exactly. I think, yeah. So, yeah, so anyway. Yeah, so what's, what's next for you? Uh, after the Ignite talk? Um, well, not like, you know, after you leave DevOx. Um, what's next on your bucket list? Training courses. And <laughs> that's not really on the bucket okay, list. that's you know. not a bucket list. Oh, bucket list. Oh, yeah, okay, bucket list. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking of trying to get into, um, well, I'll, I'll be going to India in April for the first time. First time in India? Yeah. Okay. I've got, I actually had the shots and gotten the visa and did everything, and then all of a sudden had the trip canceled before. Oh, yeah. And so this yeah. time it's actually, it looks like a for sure thing. So I might try to do a tour yeah. of Yeah, well, you know, you know that they say all that stuff, like, you know, about India and, like, hygiene and food poisoning and, like, you know, different class levels and all that stuff. All of that stuff they tell you, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so our audience member broke it as well. You've been to India as well, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure it all works out okay, though, because uh, you know. It's, yeah, it sounds mo like a most of us place. most of us live to tell the tale, so you'll be fine as well, I, I'd imagine. Um, well, you know, if I don't, I hope you have a nice eulogy for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll, I'll work on something. You'll work I on have some time, right? You, you got a bit of time, hopefully. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, very good. So, yeah, anyways, that's the end of the bucket list. And we've had product release this week, and, you know, it's just been, like, kind of a crazy thing. So, Cool. Cross. All right, so I, I think I think we have um, outlived. I'm running out of French fries here. This, um, is a, this is a problem. And mine are getting cold, and I really want to finish them. So, you know, yeah. so time I to think say goodbye we'll to everybody. do a final cheers. Thanks very much for joining us for our interview here. Cheers. And yeah. enjoy the evening of beer what and is it? fries. Uh, Sante, school, something? What are they? What's our, what's our local cheer here? What's for, our local cheer here? Is it Prost? Prost. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whatever they said. Sante. Sante. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>